Hello, it's Patrick here from the garagebandguide.com. Welcome to GarageBand Q&A, the video series where you, the viewer, get in touch with your GarageBand questions and I do my best to answer them for you. I've got a double whammy for you this time around with both questions coming from the GarageBand subreddit. I'll link to it in the description below this video if you want to check it out for yourself. First up, a question from lame screen name, who for whatever reason seems to have lost a ton of his instruments and loops. The thing is, he says, when I open some of my older projects, I still have access to these instruments, provided they are on my main composition window. So if you're having trouble finding instruments or the like uh, that you've had installed in the past, um, if you've restored from a time machine backup or something like that, nine times out of 10, restoring GarageBand's sound library will do the job for you. To reinstall your sound library, click on GarageBand in the toolbar in the top left corner of your screen. Hover over the sound library option and then click restore sound library. Now this reinstalls and re-downloads all existing sounds that you should have in GarageBand. Uh, it can take a while depending on, you know, the speed of your internet connection and stuff like that. But once it's done, all your instruments and sounds will be accessible from the library pane, all your loops will be accessible from the loop browser. Next up, Elrak was wondering if he can remove instruments from an MP3 file so he can edit the vocals of a song for a remix. Unfortunately, the short answer is no. Uh, it's not possible to kind of dive into an MP3 file and get access to the individual tracks or instruments that make up the song. If you think of it kind of like when you bake a cake, you've got all the ingredients set out, your eggs and your flour and things, which would be your instrument tracks. Say, for example, in a garage band project, you put your cake in the oven for however long, bring it out and that's ready. You can't then go into your cake and get your eggs and your flour back. In the same way, you can't do the same thing once you mix down a project from, again, for example, GarageBand. You can't then go into that mixed down MP3 file and remove the specific instruments. I'm kinda hungry for cake right now. In order to do a remix like Iraq is talking about, you would need the original uh, instrument tracks or stems um, and import them into GarageBand. So sites like remixpacks.ru can provide stems. Um, also, there is a great remix subreddit that you can check out that has a lot of stems available. I'll link both of those down in the description box below this video. If you have your own GarageBand question or query, leave a comment underneath this video or get in touch via Facebook or on Twitter. If you like this video, then leave a thumbs up. It really does help and I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on the next GarageBand Q&A.